Hey everyone, Jackie Somerville here and welcome to this week's broadcast of Jackie Straight Up. So I get this question a lot from you guys about how do I live an unconventional life, how do I live a fairly unleashed life without seeming to worry about the opinions and the judgments of others. I go about my life, I'm happy, I'm nice to people, I um, you know, stick with my own standards and, and live this, you know, the life according to how I want to live it. So the question is, how do I do that without being concerned about the opinions and the judgments of others? Hmm. Now this is a question that I know a lot of you seem to wrestle with. And so to that I would say, I want to ask you a question back. And these, this is a question for you to ponder every time you are not doing something that you really want to do, listening to your soul's calling because of what others may think or say about you or society's rules in general. And that is, why is someone else's opinion of you more important to you than your opinion of yourself? That's the bigger question here. And along with that, why is someone else's opinion of how you should live your life more important to you than how you really want to live your life? Wow, those are things to ponder. So what does it all boil down to? It all all boils down to what we feel about ourselves. How much do we truly love ourselves? And at the end of the day, if we don't truly love ourselves in the pure sense, we are unable to love or serve others properly. So it's not about being selfish. It's about truly you know, doing things in your life that get you to know who you really are and to really love and respect all of yourself. Because when we do that, we will not put someone else's opinions or ideas about how we should live our life ahead of our very own. You really are the most important thing in your own life. And when we really get that, we're able to serve the world and others so much more as well and so much better. So it is about doing what is your, what is your soul calling you to do in this life? Not, a, not only in vocation, but in the being. You know, what is your soul calling you to be, to experience? And, and also, what is your soul calling you to do in terms of a career? So fulfillment, the goal in life is not happiness, truthfully, because how could you be happy if somebody dies or if somebody's going through something, uh, you know, if your friend's going through a divorce, to be happy for her doesn't make any sense. Sadness and sorrow are very much a part of life, and that's all good and okay and meant to be. The, the issue comes, the, the real thing that we are striving for is not happiness. What we're striving for is fulfillment. And we cannot be fulfilled until we're truly filling our own soul's calling first and foremost. So what is your soul telling you to experience, to be, to become? Who are you really? And that becomes the most important thing. And when you are truly focused on that, you're in a place of fulfillment. When you're in a place of fulfillment, you really, really do not, and I don't like to use these words, do not care, because that sounds very callous. And this is not about being callous. It's actually about being very loving. So you just, you don't be, you, you are unaffected by the opinions of others and you're unswayed. They are welcome to their opinions and their judgments. You love them and let them be. You are unaffected by it. That's true self-love. And of course, you know, the other thing is that I have pushed the envelope so much in my life that I have experienced and experimented so much. And like with anything, once you've made a decision, initially it's difficult. You've got to keep practicing and keep pushing. And so when you love and support what, you know, people that society consider are unlovable and shouldn't be supported, and you do that in the face of things, you know, after my husband's accident, it was on the news all the time. And people were looking at me wondering why I loved him and supported him when he was such an awful person in their opinion. And I knew the truth. I knew the truth in my soul and I knew his heart and I still do. And so when you're walking around town and people are looking at you with all those kinds of judgments, you really get good at not eventually brushing it off. 
you know, and, uh, that's, that's what you get good at. And so it's like with everything in life. It's difficult at first, but keep going. Make the decision for yourself and then work through the awkwardness. Work through the, the feeling and let it go. Yes, I know they're judging me and initially it feels awful. But after a while, the more you focus on being true to you and being this loving person and doing what's right by you, the less you're going to worry about anybody else's opinions. It all boils down to what you think and feel about yourself. And that should matter to you more than anybody else's thoughts and feelings about you. When you do that, you will be a better human in general. You will love yourself. You will be able to love others. When we don't love ourselves, we're unable to love others. That's maybe for a whole nother thing, although it's all tied and all connected. So it all goes back to that. And you know what else? And I'm going to talk about this a whole lot more. It's also your relationship with God, with your creator, whatever you choose to call it. So when you feel very grounded and very supported by the creator, this part of you that, that's connected to divine intelligence, then I think you're even more able to just go about your life doing what's right for you and what's really following your soul. Your soul knows. That's it. Your soul knows. Leave me a comment below this video. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Yes, I do care about your opinions too, because helping you is truly part of who I am. So let me know what you'd like help with. Let me know your comments below the video. If you've liked the video, click like, share it. I would so love that. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on another episode of Jackie Straight Up. In the meantime, be you unapologetically. You are perfect. You are fabulous.